Hi, it's Dr. Collado, and the first official week of online learning and teaching is here. And um, I um, didn't want to share anything, any strategies. I've, I've kept myself off from the, the trend and the million posts about um, strategies and, and resources that are being shared um, online, which is great. I think that it's, uh, it's awesome that everyone is sharing their expertise and the resources to help us all. That is wonderful. So thank you to those of you um, that are doing that. But I decided to take a step back and, and wait and think and, um, and just process everything that was going and particularly because um, you know there were there's many changes every single day in the school that I work for too which was the case in everyone el every, everywhere else in terms of what platforms to use and what was the best method of delivery so this week um, even I decided instead of going ahead with um, and continuing with our thematic unit I decided to take a step back and also um, focus on um, using the platforms, testing them out, getting in touch with, uh, with the children um, through you know the schedule that was designed and see how everything would go. So um, what I did was I created a very super extremely simple activity at the novice level of learner based on our intention heart. So if you um, listen to these um, blog posts, you probably are familiar with the intention heart. This is a, um, a, a plastic case that I have in the classroom that have word um, um, strips with words, strips of paper. And it has a set of um, a list of um, words that represent um, things that are positive intentions that we can set for a moment or for a day. So for example, happiness, calmness, focus, empathy, and I have them in Spanish and English. So it serves as a um, vocabulary building activity, but it also serves for the children to learn to think of their feelings, what, are, what is it that they're experiencing it, and what is it that they need and that they could focus on um, and set an intention. So it was a successful activity in the classroom um, where students would quietly independently go grab one piece, check to see what, what is it that they needed on a particular day, hold on to it, and the idea of holding on to it is like, yes, this is working because I have it here in my hand, so I need to focus, and yes, I'm focusing because I have it. So I decided to turn that into a um, one-sheet activity for this week where students that I I'm going to share uh, the sheets so that you can modify or use as is. That's not a problem. I think you can you can use it, um, even if you if it's not something that you do in the classroom. So all students need to do is each day of the week. I wrote a list in Spanish. Each day of the week, they choose one word. They could repeat a word, um, and then next week through one of the um, um, platforms they can share their list with me and that is sort of the activity so very very simple but um very intentionally <laughs> i um decided to do it because we are living difficult times and whether the children are being taken care of and they're safe and they are spending time with their families and they're playing games they life is different and um and there's a lot of feelings going on and 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 there it's an adjustment so it is my way to contribute a little bit to help them go through um the week and all the changes and everything that's going on and maybe also something that they could share with their relatives at home and make it into an activity that they can do together so um a couple of things so far that i've gotten one student I guess was able to print out um, the sheet and um, cut it just like I do in the classroom. Instead of writing, cut the strips and is posting, taping the strips onto the sheet, which I thought it was um, really nice because it's just the way we do it in the classroom. And, um, 
and another student, you know, they were explaining, they're using uh, one online platform to communicate and one student wasn't clear and the other student is um, explaining and said, um, well, you have to choose one word in Spanish, for example, empathy or courage or happiness, and you act that way for the day. And that's exactly what it is, you know? You um, believe it, what is it? Um, you practice until you become it. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. Um, I'm, I'm saying the strategy wrong, but that's exactly what it is to set an intention. You choose what you need because of how you feel and you act that way. So grammar is important, language is important, content is important, but really, I think they can take a break from um, conjugating a verb, right? Um, and just use some vocabulary building, some review, and think of um, you know something, uh, setting intentions, and um, fostering emotional intelligence. So that's my strategy. I hope that you are well, safe, and healthy, and. Um, I hope to share more stories and strategies from this online learning um, experience, experience that we're all um, suddenly um, into. Adios.